I have a couple of boards on my bench and I do not know which one to start with. We have what looks like a laptop motherboard here that came in for repair and reading the ticket, solder on to new USB-C. So he wants us to solder to new USB-C ports. Number one, we cannot get USB-C ports for this board. And number two, I see prior repair attempt. Let's take a look at the board. And we're going to decide if we're going to work on it or not work on it. We see signs of flux, swab fibers. And we see, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> missing pads everywhere. Missing pads like you've never seen before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight missing pads here. We have missing components, one, two, three, four, five, and five missing components here. More flux, and we're not gonna work on this board. The next board on my bench is the LG Ultrafine 5K monitor motherboard, and that's a $1,300 monitor. I've done one of those on the channel before, and since then I've been getting a lot of those boards. A common issue with the boards are the first Thunderbolt connector. And I do see signs of flux here. Look at this. It appears that the customer attempted to maybe reflow the connector or solder the connector. Looks solid. But I do see some burn marks on the plastic here and signs of flux. Right now the connector looks solid even though it suffered a lot of heat. But what I want to do is quickly test the pins and maybe we can tell if the pins are solid or not. Now look at this. None of the pins are making a connection with the board. I do not know if the pads are still present on the board or maybe the pads are ripped off, but we're gonna have to find that. We're gonna have to desolder this connector and we do not have a replacement connector, so we have to use the same one. Right now we cannot apply heat from the bottom because we have a plastic connector on bottom of the board. So we're gonna have to apply heat from the top. Unlike some boards where we can apply heat from the bottom. This one we have a plastic connector on back of the board, right under this connector here. And we do not want to burn it. So apply flux, it helps with the flow of solder. And we're gonna carefully apply heat so we do not burn that connector more than it's already burned. We have all the pads. Wow. My lucky day. We need to get rid of the glare. We do not have any missing pads. So we just have to realign those traces, those weak traces. Let me apply some leaded solder on those pads because we need to thin those pads and then we can reflow the connector. So what we do is we apply solder now and then we put the connector over and then we heat up and press down on the connector. Let's go over it one more time. Right, and perfect.
going to add more flux. I want as much solder as possible to stick on the pads. And we achieve this with enough flux on the board. Very nice. So the pads are soaked with solder. And right now all we have to do is place the connector like this. And we're going to press down on the connector while we apply heat. Right now we want to make sure the pins of the connector are good or aligned. Right, I think we should be good. I'm gonna press and hold while applying hot air. I did feel the connector go down while pressing on it. Let's wait until solder hardens. All right, let's see. Right now we did not solder the back legs, but let's see if the connector is solid as it stands, and yes. Let's apply more flux. I'm gonna go over this one more time just to ensure that solder made its way through all the way down. We do not just want solder on the surface, but we want it to go all the way down. All right, we're all good. And look at those joints. Great, we did an awesome job. Let's clean up from here, from the front. Okay, it looks perfect. And let's see if we can check. Look at this. Solid, solid, very nice, very nice, and if we try to push this one in, it doesn't go in, and maybe this one here, beautiful, we did it. Let's use our fine steel brush and clean up this connector. You're not going to be able to do it with the ear swap. Look at this. Better than factory. And we're gonna charge the customer for the polishing. The polishing is not free. Right? Look at the polishing. We took in aluminum and we're giving this back to the customer as silver. And one last thing I want to do is check inside the connector. Great, awesome. We gave this board our 100% and we did an amazing job. That's it, the board is fixed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out our forum at northridgefix.com. Click on forum and you can ask your questions there. Like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.